Well, good evening, and welcome back to the second performance of our fall 2020 season. Again, my name is Daniel G, and I'm the associate conductor of Core Arts Initiative. We opened our season last week in a format both indicative of and adapted for our time, a virtual choir performance of Thomas Lavoie's O Great River. Especially thanks again to Thomas for joining us with a short introduction, as well as to Marcus Carline, who is producing our videos for the season. If you haven't seen it already, last week's video is still online, and you'd be welcome to view it anytime. For this week, we are following up with the second performance, Christina Witten Thomas's And I Shall Sing, a work celebrating friendship and the people who come alongside us in life. Well, perhaps you've noticed that I'm recording this video on Tuesday, after Tuesday afternoon. But I fully realize that when we will be viewing this on Friday, uh, many of us might feel like we're in a completely different place with, with a range of emotions. To close our season entitled Healing and Hope, we thought the message of this piece would be helpful for all of us, no matter how we feel. Whatever is going on around us, we are grateful for those who support and encourage us by their friendship and their presence. Well, this message resonates personally with me as I'm grateful to have had the opportunity to make music with the singers and staff of Core Arts Initiative. And it was especially a delight to be able to, be able to record uh, this second performance in person at St. Wilfrid's Episcopal Church in Huntington Beach. Now, of course, we followed strict protocols to ensure the safety of our singers as well as our communities. Symptom pre-screening, temperature checks, outdoor singing, singing in masks, frequent breaks, distancing between singers, and the like. We are grateful for the generous hospitality of St. Wilfrid's, giving us not only a safe, open space conducive to these safety measures, but also one that, as you will see, served as a beautiful setting for our recording. It was a joy to make music together again, and I hope you will sense and be encouraged by that joy as you hear us sing. Well, once again, thank you for joining us. If you are enjoyed our music this season, we'd love to hear from you. Write us at our website, choralartsinitiative.org and maybe consider joining us and supporting us in this mission as we bring to life the choral music of today's composers. Well, in just a few moments, we have the privilege of hearing a message from the composer herself, Christina Wynn Thomas, and then I hope you will enjoy our performance of And I Shall Sing. I'm Christina Witten Thomas, a composer, singer, and teacher in the LA area. And I Shall Sing was commissioned by Jeff Bittner in the Middlebury College Choir in honor of Su Lian Tan, who was my first composition teacher and who has been teaching at Middlebury for over 25 years. She and I discussed themes that were meaningful for her, and in order to create a truly unique work, I asked writer Marion Partee to compose an original text that combined these ideas into a narrative meaningful on both a personal and universal level. I'm Marion Partee. When Christina approached me about this project, some of the themes that she brought to me were mentorship, community, self-discovery, and transitional moments in life. It was also important to me to use the idea of we're not just finding our voices for ourselves, but also finding our voices to speak up for those who have been silenced. The piece opens with solo voices, each expressing a feeling of insecurity. And as the music continues, you hear the choir sing, you broke the silence with your song. The music gradually builds as the individual in the text begins to trust the guidance of a mentor and finds a venue for true self-expression within a community. We reach a moment of realization that we are not alone on this journey that we are travelers side by side. The piece ends with the return of those solo voices, only this time they sing with confidence, knowing that they have the, the support of those who guided them through their journey. One stanza that is particularly important to me right now in 2020 with the pandemic is the stanza, when I lost my voice, you taught me how to rest and wait and listen until my song returned to me. And there are a lot of artists who can't create art right now. I think it's wonderful the Choral Arts Initiative is creating art, but for a lot of artists, they have to just rest and wait and listen until they can create again. And I Shall Sing is about 
listening to those who uplift and encourage you and about overcoming obstacles in order to become your true self. I want to thank Coral Arts Initiative for their commitment to creating beauty at this time of uncertainty.